Hey guys, Scott here from VTown Guitars, and today we're going to be talking about the Dingwall D Rock Standard 5. So, this is my own base here. I've got two of these. This one's the Aquamarine Sparkle model, which is actually showing up as being quite blue in this video, but it's actually a really beautiful, sparkly green color. I've also got a um, color shift purple to blue model as well, which is a five string again. I love them both, but this is probably my go to one if I was to choose between them. So I'll talk about the bases themselves, how they're put together, and then I'll show you a couple of the little mods that I've done. So first of all, you can see we've got the five string model here. Now these are made in South Korea, and that varies from the four string because they're actually made in China, but the five strings are made in South Korea. And there's a couple of differences straight away that you might notice. So first of all, the bridge here is this beautiful, nice, big, chunky, solid bridge. And that's exclusive to the five strings. The four strings have the little individual monorail bridges. And I'm pretty sure, I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the same bridge that you would get on a custom dingwall that's made in Canada. So the second difference with the Korean models is that they come as standard with Lumin Lay side markers. You don't get that on the four string. And this isn't advertised either. Whenever I see a, a retailer selling these bases, they never seem to push the fact that they've got these Lumin Lay side markers. And I don't quite understand why that is because it's a really big feature and it's something you can have as an option on the custom shop models. So in addition, they also usually have a decal on here, like a vinyl black decal. The uh, custom shop D Rocks have a wooden pick guard here, and I'm going to talk about that more in a moment. But I've actually removed the vinyl decal on both of my uh, standard models, as you can see here. Also, I've added these neck illusion uh, block markers. Now, these are just stickers, they're not permanent, they can be removed really quickly and easily. But these ones in particular match the color really, really well, and I absolutely love these. So, uh, a lot of people will be. Um, well, let's just say they tend to split the room when it comes to opinion on these neck illusions, but I really like them. I think they're fantastic and really easy to apply as well. The only other little mod I've done here is to add dingwall knobs. So these come with sort of metal dome knobs normally, but I've added the dingwall ones on here. And the other thing to note as well about what these come with as standard, if I just flip this over, they come with Dunlop strap locks fitted as standard and they're the recessed versions that you can see here. Here's the other the, the other one there. So you don't get those on the um, on the dingwalls normally on the, the, the NG3s and stuff. They don't come with strap locks as standard, but they do. You obviously get both parts as well. You get the part that attaches to the strap, uh, which is a really nice little feature as well. But just so you can see the back of the neck here as well, it's all really quality wood. You've got lovely hip shot tuners up here. We've got a nice um, control panel there, a control cavity cover, which gives you all of the information on the back as well. And it actually says made in South Korea there. So I named my bases as well. This one's called Lily. Um, but the paint on this is absolutely flawless. You know, this I can get lost in this. It's absolutely dreamy, it really is. Just coming around the back, you can see the, uh, the jack socket there as well. So I absolutely love these. these. These are passive, so there's nothing fancy about this at all. You've got a volume control, you've got a rotary pickup selector, four-way pickup selector, and then you've got a passive tone control. What I've actually done on both of mine, and this was a friend of mine called Matthew that actually recommended to me to do this, I have swapped, physically swapped, the neck and the bridge pickups over. So I haven't unwired them or done anything like that. All I did was took the strings off, opened up the control cavity, there's a little cable tie that you need to snip. And then that enables you to have enough free play in the wire to be able to swap these two pickups over. So it means that I now get a, a really good jazz sound. I can have the neck and the bridge pickup in together. So there's no wiring changes at all. It's a physical swap, literally just swapping these two pickups over. I'm gonna do a separate video about that another time. But I just wanted to show you this base. I'll talk about the, the other one as well in, in a, a little while. We'll go and do a separate video on my purple one because it is slightly different. OK, so I'll be back in a moment and I've got something else to show you. OK, so this is the next thing I wanted to show you. So I'm actually making for both of my D-Rock standards a, uh, a wooden pick guard. This isn't it. This is just the template, which is why it's so thick. But this is just made of MDF. I made this using uh, reference pictures of real um, D Rock Customs as the as the reference, and I got the, the sizing exactly right. I also traced the old um, 
vinyl pit guard before I took it off of here. So I actually did an outline of it with a piece of paper and a pencil, made a, a proper outline. So I know that this is exactly the right size and shape. So that's going to be my template. And what I'm going to do is show you what I'm going to make that from when I do the actual real thing. So I've got a couple of bits of wood here. First one is Wenge, and that tends to be what the custom shop pit guards are made from. And then I've got this lovely bit of rosewood here as well. So it's not actually slotted, they're just glue lines that are on here for some reason, or they might even be pencil lines, I'm not sure. But it's a beautiful bit of rosewood. So I'm going to be making lovely three millimeter thick pit guards for both of my D Rock standards. I will do a separate video on this as well, but I just wanted to show you this while we're here, just so you can see what it's going to look like when it's got that uh, pit guard installed. So that's it then. So the, my very quick video, just giving a quick outline of the D-Rock Standard 5. Absolutely love these. And I play in a, a funk band primarily. So this is a, a bass that gets used for all different genres of music. It's great for rock, it's great for metal, but it's equally great for funk and soul and blues. Anything you want to do with this, it's a really, really versatile instrument. I love my Dingwalls. I've got three in total. I've uh, got an NG3 as well, and I'll, I might do a separate video on that because that's had a few mods also. But yeah, check one of these out. If you get the opportunity, I would definitely get to, get to your hands on one of these because they are absolutely stunning instruments. And I've pretty much forsaken everything else that I own in, in uh, favour of Dingwalls. That's how much I love them. So thanks very much for listening, guys, and I'll see you on my next video. Take care.